Hey everybody, welcome back. We are looking at some messy TikToks today because they're just, they're the best kind of TikToks. They are. Elite content. Only the best for you. Celebrities I don't like for no reason. At number five, we have this blockhead bitch. Ray J, he's cornier than corn and he irks my soul. I don't think he has anything remarkable under his belt. Coming in at number four is this Debbie Ryan from Jesse. Every time I seen her on the show, I wanted to slip my throat. She's a terrible actress. Coming in at number three is this Demi Lovato, <laughs> aka Press the Chin. Um, I really haven't liked her since Camp Rock. I feel like all of her roles could have easily been played by someone else. Um, and I've always wanted to press the button on her chin. <laughs> Coming in at number two is this Bella Thorne from Shake It Up. Zendaya carried the whole show on her back, and this didn't dance for shit. Zendaya ate that ass up on the dance floor every time. Topping it off at number one is this muscle face bitch black Oh China. my gosh. Um, I hate hearing about her news, her life. The fact that you were just so monotone throughout that entire thing. But it is true that there are a lot of celebrities out there that you hate and you don't know why. The media definitely has something to do with it. Lots of negative press. The media loves to drag celebrities. But sometimes you just don't like their face. <laughs> I don't like your face. I hate it. Got an ugly face with the personality of a wet carrot. <laughs> hey, that's my job. I am the only person with the personality of a wet carrot. It's my claim to fame. Black China, definitely. Honestly, everything I've learned about Black China has been against my will. She does have one really, really good song though. She does. What is it called? Let me just look it up real quick. Cause it's good. Like I like I'm just saying it's good. Doom by Black China. That is fire. That's a good song. I like that. When I want to turn up and shake my butt on a boat, I put on that song. <laughs> but I still don't like her. You know? I don't know why. Tell me a celebrity that you don't like for no reason down below in the comments just because you can. Okay. This list is 100% valid. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad someone agrees. I don't know a lot of the people that are on that list, to be honest, but you, you know, I, I agree with you. <laughs> the fact that you have a straight face while saying this have me dead. Honestly, it's the monotone, like straight demeanor for me. Not an expression to be found. Excellent, pure comedy, top tier. Don't forget Nick Cannon also makes me irrationally annoyed. <laughs> God, that's the dream, right? <laughs> <laughs> Getting so famous that people you don't even know are irrationally annoyed by you. Goals. Goals AF. Rihanna is pregnant. Hallie and Ruby are fighting. MGK and Megan broke up. I still have three front teeth. 2023. Oh, but there's also like aliens too and like... And, and like balloons and stuff. It's been a crazy year, you know? And chat GPT, I mean, it is only February and it's about to be lit. It's like the world was in lockdown for three years. It's just on overdrive now. Just... Messy! Messy o'clock! I'm here for the mess, I'm here for it. It's my favorite. As long as it's not happening to me, right? Like we love a good mess, but not when it's our mess. <laughs> This is a message for my crush. Um, basically, I fell out in love with you. Fell out. Yep, I know. Sad, didn't it? <laughs> basically, you didn't even message me back. You couldn't be bothered. So, you know what? I thought, why should I care about you anymore? I mean, Period. I still might care, but... <laughs> I still might care, but... You know, if you want me, then, like, I'll consider it. But just letting you know, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> I've never related more to a TikTok, honestly. You had me, and now you don't. Well, you still do. But I'm just letting you know, I'm not gonna be as easy to get anymore. We love a queen who knows her worth. I also love this creator. I think she's absolutely hilarious. And the cutest. The cutest little button. I wanna squish it. I wanna squish it, oh jeez. So cute. My dad, my 57 year old dad has a 25 year old girlfriend. Oh, hell no. Normally every Saturday, me and my dad meet up without fail. So on Friday, I sent him a text. I said, hey dad, 4 p.m. tomorrow, okay? He replied saying, sorry son, I can't meet tomorrow as I'm meeting Ruth's dad. Oh, Ruth is her 25 year old girlfriend and that is her real name because I don't like her. Ruth. <laughs> so he's meeting his 25 year old girlfriend's dad, which is mad. So I asked how old he is. He's 55 years <laughs> old. That's two years younger than him. Oh. I thought this was hilarious. So I said, what are you all gonna do? And this is where it gets good. They're going for brunch. <laughs> brunch. A 55 year old man, 57 year old man, and a 25 year old girl at brunch. Ooh. The waiter's gonna think they're a gay couple. <laughs> a 
interviewing a dog sitter or something. But it's not. Honestly, how do you explain to your dad that you're dating a man that's older than him? <laughs> I would pay money to be there for that conversation. Like big, big money. You're for him though, like damn. Can we like see your dad? Can we see what he looks like? <laughs> I'm just curious. That time I faked an audition to call out a talent scout scammer at the Marriott in Jacksonville, North Carolina. I am 100% here for this. As someone who's been scammed by someone like this. Okay. So Hello. How's how it going? going? Good. How are you? Good. Introduce. Natalie Pelang, 33 years old, and I am here for TV and film acting. Awesome. Can you say your first name again? Megan. Okay, perfect. First and last name, sorry. Megan Pelang. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it on video. I pushed it too late. Okay. And um, whenever you're ready, let's start with your script. Okay. Um, I actually prepared my own. Um, yeah. I did look over the sides there, but okay. I decided to just go with it. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to wing it. Great. Um, the fact that you can sit here with a clear conscience and take advantage of all of these people in this room and play on these little kids and their hopes and their dreams absolutely <sighs> disgusts me absolutely disgusting thank you you can leave oh what i don't get a picture you want to do you want to take a picture? picture are you are you directing this at me what are you filming me right now was that not am I, i'm i'm asking if you're filming. end scene for me that was my acting was that are you good? filming me right now you were filming me can i film you no you cannot film me. well i didn't sign a release form for you to film leave. me either, oh period any you. of you, you so if you guys want some real information on the acting world in the industry, you can meet me outside because this is a scam. Goodbye. Oh, wow. Goodbye. I'm so sorry for all of you. You're going to end up paying a, a big fee at that little five-day event. Bye. Megan, goodbye. Bye. Before I have to call security, get out. Thank call you. them, girl. I wonder if I'll get a call back. I would say um, that was a really incredible performance. So, yeah, maybe. All right. A lot of you ask me... You know, how do you break into the entertainment industry? You say that you're actors and writers and, and stuff like that and models and, and you want to know how to break into it. This is how you don't break into it. Do not go to these cattle calls where, you know, agencies hold these things, usually in hotel ballrooms and you do auditions. They're scams because more often than not, they want you to like pay them to take photos of you and and they you know they charge you money to sign up with them no agency will charge you a dime to work with them okay there's tons of scams that go along with this industry and the fact of the matter is is they do take people who are desperate who really want to make it in the industry and you know they tell you all the things that you want to hear and they're like oh you're so great you could be the next supermodel or the next you know Meryl Streep whatever line they tell you and they feed on that vulnerability and they'll never get you an acting job they'll charge you a bunch of money to take your headshots and to do all these things and acting classes and they're never gonna do anything for you my advice stay the hell away from them shoot your own content want to be in movies and tv make your own stuff go viral on social media and then once you have kind of like a repertoire of things you can have stuff for your reel then you reach out to an agent a legit agent there's a list on the SAG website. There's a list on the Actra website, even though it's a little bit like sus sometimes. Be very, very careful. And good on this mom for calling this person out because that's just, it's just awful. I can't even tell you how many times I've fallen for a scam like this. Lesson learned. This is your sign to play this game at your next girls' night for positive pregnancy tests. Hang on, hang on. Wow. Wow, y'all have been busy. Busy, busy babies. But isn't that kind of the dream to get pregnant at the same time as your besties? Have your babies at the same time? Go to each other's baby showers and stuff? It's gonna be a busy year for you guys. Babies, it's baby time. Party over immediately. Yeah, are you guys like drinking? <laughs> Somebody said pregnancy roulette. Ah! Y'all are messy as hell. Cut the camera's dead <laughs> Honestly, wow. The fact that this is like free content on the internet. <laughs> you put this on TikTok for free? For people who have no idea they're pregnant is crazy.
Imagine she said it's four people in here pregnant and we all drunk. They are though, they're drunk. They like, come on. <laughs> well, if they were pregnant before. <laughs> that was dark. That was dark, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We also don't know who the pregnancy test belonged to. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This just got interesting. So there's no like names on the tests or anything. They're just like, we're, we just kind of got a guess. Imagine, imagine the thoughts going through these women's heads. That's a, that's a large ratio, okay? Like these, these could belong to anyone there. Can I like tap out? I think I, th mm. that doesn't sound very fun. NYC gentrifiers ring my elderly grandfather's bell at almost 12 a.m. and thinks it's funny. Okay, so based on the comments, y'all are in East Harlem, right? This is East Harlem. As someone who used to live in Harlem. Don't do that. Don't do that. My boyfriend ruined my birthday by forcing me to stop dancing and calling me trash, slut, and cheap. So you got up on the bar and proceeded to dance. Cause it's your birthday. Strangers started to get up and dance to support me, as they should. Are you freaking kidding me right now? You, you you kicked him out, right? Like he's not your boyfriend anymore? Tell me that relationship is over, babe. I'm not a slut. I'm not trashy, but I can be. <laughs> My neighbor offered to slice watermelon with his sword. Okay, not surprised, he, but he just like has a sword. And that's a glass table. And look, the watermelon is, <laughs> hasn't even been cut. That was a messy talk. You have a big mess to clean up. The messiest messy talk. When your friend sprains her neck and has a concussion, but you both can't take anything serious. <laughs> <laughs> you look crazy. <laughs> I know. Funny. <laughs> I love this for you, besties. If you can't laugh about this with your best friend, you ain't really living. When my parents put 22 candles on my birthday cake because they found my fake, your, your fake ID? <laughs> That's so funny. I can't see, I'm blind. What, sorry, you didn't see that. What do you mean? No, that's not mine. That's not mine, it's my friend's. My friend forgot her ID. Oh, it's one of the ones that you had like made with your like name on it and birth date that's fake. Oh, okay, yeah, you're, you're screwed, yeah. Sad number okay. two, who's number it one? Hurts. Ooh. <laughs> that over here. That makes sense. Over. Kayla, can I see your tattoo? <laughs> oh, oh. Look at you two sad besties. Own it, take the power back. Put it on you indefinitely. A permanent sad B word. You might as well. When you and your fiance called off your engagement one day ago and he already has a new girlfriend? Wrap around, wrap around, wrap around. Wrap around, that's a wrap on the wrap around. Subscribe!